Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you, or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. What up guys, gals, and unassociated wolf pals? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the wolf pack. That's right, my name is Anthony, and we are jumping back in Hogwarts Legacy. That's right, and in today's episode, we have got a lot to do, so let's get into it. Remember, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like, comment down below, also subscribe. Hit my wolf gong to get notified for more ZH Gaming content. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. All right, I will keep you informed. It would mean a lot. All right, well, we will do that. All right, so we got that done. Um, let's see what else we got. I'm going to finish these other... Side quest. Let's go talk to Natty. Hey, right, here we go. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. <laughs> I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. Uh -oh. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But oh. mother! My little gazelle, you are well intentioned, uh -oh. but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous Mama people. Mama done told you, if didn't she? If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would uh -oh. still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. Um. So frustrating. She never listens to me. <laughs> she called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <laughs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade, she mentioned. Yep. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. Oh. However, I am an Animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Oh, wow. That's incredible. <laughs> now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I, I wish I could. transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. Let me learn. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. I mean, that is true. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. I want to change. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Uh... She's concerned for your safety. She is that. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. 
That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. It may not be the do best. You? No, you no, could no. have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you. But you did not. That's true. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with uh -oh. Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. I'm not that great of a role model. My mother cannot know where I am <laughs> all the time. All right, Thank you so for we get being that. here during <laughs> that rather awkward conversation. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Good deal. So we got that done. Let's, uh, <laughs> we got to be careful. All right, so let's keep going. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that text know, still right? makes my blood boil. Jesus. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The they collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. Yeah. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures. That's a good exactly. possibility. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. Yes, we do need to do that. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking yeah, into doing. it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? <laughs> oh. That's, that's not if it's all right with you, I'd rather not say. At least not at the moment. Understood. We all have our secrets. For I shall now. press for more details. Maybe In fact, later. I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. Maybe later. Maybe I'll tell I you later. You know All right. Have news of her location. Good deal. Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. Yes. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. <laughs> I mean, well... Might this be dangerous? Oh, well, I think he probably. simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Yes, good deal. All right, let's head out. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. <laughs> God, dog it. All right, let's head to... Um... Let's head out there. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. Uh -oh. How else did he expect goblin kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. I guess not. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. You, not you long don't. ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. Uh -oh. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Oh, wow. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. 
Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Mm. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. Wow. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Yeah. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I am. Um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook oh better than God. you can speak it? I can. Sir Lodgok. Oh my god. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And oh. why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen, either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Oh, okay. Well, let's do I'll this. And I can do this. I will await your return. All right. I shall see you soon. All right, let's do this. So we can't be seen by the eye. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Boom. Clever. I'm thinking this is the eye right here. The door is oh. looking at us. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. Oh my god, just 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 come on. Gotta be careful here. Just be careful. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Oh my god. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Good for you. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. Yeah. Rebellion. I'll grab this right here. All right, let's go. Here we go. Ooh. All right. I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. Calm down, dude. Let's go this way. See what we got. I've read about mines like this, but oh, seeing okay. one is something else altogether. So we got that. Revelio. We got that way to go, and we have this right here. So. Akira. Oh, that. That's cool. So we got that done. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go ahead and go this way because this is most likely the way we gotta go anyway. All right, get on here. All right. Well, Keep your wits about you, I'll meet. Woo. I'll get you through this mine. I'll be quiet. See if we can. Someone there. Watch your step round here. <laughs> Don't see nothing there. Oop. Back up, back up, back up, back up. 
Matter of time till Ranrock sets things right. All right, come on back this way. Watch your step around here. Ooh. Oh my goodness, he's looking. Come on. We're being watched by a door. Well. Come on. All right. Go ahead and grab. Uh oh. He won't get through as long as we can be seen by that eye. Yep, we shouldn't be seen by the eye, so I think we should be all right. Patricus don't tell us. That was a little more than I'm used to. I'll get us through his set. I should use disillusionment. That eye won't see a thing. All right, there you go. We got it. We, we got it figured out. Revenue. Is there anything else we need in here? I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. <laughs> uh oh. Let's take a look around our meat. See if we can find any plans. Bound to be plans around here somewhere. Bring me a dozen cheese to battle. I'll take all. Revelio. Let's see him. These guys are up here. Definitely know we're here now, don't I? A search. There we go. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. <laughs> I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. All right. Let's head down here and see what we got. A schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? Revelio. I don't know, but we got multiple ways. Let's go back up here. There's a lot of different ways to go. There's another one right here. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. Uh oh. But what? What Let are me know they? If you see any more plans or schematics, we can't return to Lodgok empty headed. You haven't had mushroom stew like I know, what my right? mother used to make. Like heads of lettuce, those mushrooms were. Let's see here. Quite a bit of them. E. Getting them taken care of. What's that, Dallas? Who's that? Nobody. Nobody. Let's get out of here and see what we can come up with. Get this one right here. Nobody. You don't know anything. Afraid to fight. Nope. Patricus, don't tell us. We just just makes it easier doing it this way. Oh, 
This really is too much. Stay close. I've handled much worse. Another boiler. All this right. place is more complex than I had expected. So we have another boiler here. Can freak them. A dead. We'll have an upstairs. Probably. Probably so. I can't carry any more of that. It's hard, guys. Let's do this. Two. Searching around. Look around. What was that? What was that? I don't have a clue. Get up there, actually I'm gonna go ahead and take care of it. Boom! Boom! Many of them are there. That should be the last of them, I'll meet. That's a lot of them. Alright, let's see here. Oop! We gotta be careful, we gotta oh, it's all us. It's all us. Alright, we gotta hide again. I'll be quiet. Right, here we go. Yep. Nope. Alright. We gotta go this way. We gotta open it. Revenue. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Arrest them. That's not what I want. There we go. Thank you. Revenue. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this one just in case. Got this right here. This is not good. They're oh Lord. enormous drills. Bigger than this mine could contain. Holy Let's get out crap. of here and tell Lodgott what we found. Holy crap, dude. Alright, are you in? Oh, there he is. Alright. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm yes, glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. I know, right? And I'm afraid we might not be able to. Revenio. We need to go up some more. All right, let's go. Yeah. 
We're almost out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. Yep. Welcome sight indeed. I know, right? Come on, man. Let's go. Can we please talk about what... That wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> it was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. The right, goblin man. secrets are safe with me, but I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Yes, you can do that someday. Without further ado, adieu. 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 All right, let's go. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So I was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. Uh -oh. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear mm. or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. What? Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked oh. me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. Oh, wow. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. Really? I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Oh, no. Berated me for trusting a witch, when I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it. But I don't oh, know. Wow. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock. Transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodcock, for telling me this. Yeah. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals. I know, right? But the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Oh my god, a great war, Watch huh? Watch for my owl. Oh, here we go. Wow, that is, that is intense, dude. <laughs> intense. Ooh. Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. Yeah. I'm requesting your help. 
Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. I have some promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her you-know-what. Okay. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. Oh, we'll probably do that. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. We, man, that was a lot that we had to do. A lot of places we had to go. This is intriguing. This is fantastic storytelling, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the um, series as well, as much as I am. But that is going to do it for this episode. Remember, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like, comment down below, and hey, don't be a toe jelly. Subscribe to be my friend. Until then, I will catch you on the flip side. <laughs>